Hello, my name is Gorp. My name is Gorp. And we are here today to play Terraria. You should have said that with me. Yo, oh. you're a newcomer. I'm gonna eat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna eat eight Mike and Ikes. So, I bet you guys are wondering who is this guy? I don't know. Anyways, let's start this. Yeah. We're playing Terraria if you couldn't tell. I'm not talking because I'm eating eight Mike and Ikes. I don't have anything to eat. He, he's homeless. Yeah. <laughs> I could have bought a house with all this money, but I bought a bought a computer instead. Yeah, <laughs> a computer that costs twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> Most of the time, I record with some other stranger that you guys all know as Gorup. But uh, since he only records once every. 18 Sundays. I'm excited to get someone else. So, uh, after I finish eating these Mega Nikes, I'm probably gonna talk a little more, but not done, so uh, everyone just be patient. Better plant these acorns. I'm gonna keep my I like to keep my acorns. Ugh, acorns. The guide shot you a lot. Yeah. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Like he's, he's too out. afraid to turn on the PvP. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm ready. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Some people just don't get it. Okay, well. First of all. After I finish this mic and I'm gonna say something important. So you entertain them, Gorup. Oh, okay. Do a little dance or something. Uh, Alright, I'm doing a little a little jig. Oh. A little jig. I like it. I like to cut my trees it's halfway. Probably I like to cut my trees halfway up to the top. <laughs> I don't like to cut my trees all the way at the bottom. That's just pointless. I only like Probably to cut, gonna die. I only like to the cut the leaves night. off. So I can get acorns. I don't want acorns. I collect acorns. They're probably the. If you guys ever played Terraria, okay. First of all, since we both played this game already, technically this is a. Let's show you how it's done. Acorns are the <laughs> most essential item. If you don't have acorns, you don't have the game Terraria. So. Yeah, that's right. Let's get acorns. As you can see, I can't pick up this. Uh, never mind. As you can see. I can pick up wood. Always remember that your character is a magnet. This is my character was, was just a normal guy, and then he okay. got hungry one day, and he, he ate a magnet. So yeah, everyone thinks he has superpowers, but he just he ate a magnet. As you can notice, our hairstyles are very similar. It's because of our huge brains. We know everything. <laughs> and we just like to wrap our hair around our heads. Okay, so step one in Terraria. After, you got, after you've gathered enough acorns, you go to the edges of the earth. 
get him. This isn't working. Hit him in his face. Technical difficulties. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys. Uh, before we continue this survival, let's just remember to subscribe to our good friends Urine Danger, Dank Plants, Chuck Norris, old, Creepy old Fart Man or something, I don't know. <laughs> subscribe to them. <laughs> they really need it. They're definitely not fake. <laughs> They're real. They're all their own people. <laughs> I, I know each and every one of them. Isn't that right? The big lake up ahead. They definitely aren't five fake accounts that subscribe to this channel. <laughs> 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 doesn't that make you wanna doesn't that make you wanna subscribe? Please subscribe. Chuck Norris subscribed. <laughs> Checking the words. It's the real one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent because we make quality content. I have first a loves his quality. Yeah. Almost as much <clears throat> as he likes the gore up, gore up. Yeah. He recommended us on his latest commercial. It's called the Chuck Norris Thigh Tie. You could tie two of your thighs <laughs> together and walk around like that for a whole day, and you, and he'll give you double the offer for two two thigh ties. Yeah. The only reason you you need a thigh ties to get better deals on more thigh ties. I bought one myself. I I found the quality of my product uh, high. Almost about as high quality as the Gorup Gorup. So after you're done collecting dirt, you can make dirt armor. Where's I my... didn't know you can make dirt armor. Oh, oh, you need to make a, a workbench. You need to make a workbench. Where your house is usually. Your, remember your house always, always needs a door. So this is gonna be the base of our house. See? Real nice. And after you've made a sufficient amount of wooden walls, here's a hint. You're gonna need a lot. And after you've realized that you built your house with like a a really grassy floor. Oh swag! I got a zombie arm already. Wow! You're gonna pull some stunts off Whoa! with that. What? <laughs> Did you have like a seizure or something? <laughs> uh, how how are you doing? As Come you on, see, why won't you let me in? As you can see, this is what we all call the peeping tom. They always try to break into your house. I just call them Eric. <laughs> so Yeah. Always remember to have one shuriken on you wherever you go. You never know when you're gonna need to throw throw one shur oh I I threw it at a wall. Okay. Make sure your house is always locked with an a wall. No! Okay, so sometimes you get robbers, but you can't kill robbers. You have to be friend. We have to. You have to be friend to robbers. As you can see, the most useful piece of armor in the whole game is wooden greaves. Yeah, a wood helmet's got one defense, all right, and a wood breastplate's got one defense, all right, but wood greaves have zero defense, and that's what makes them special. I think I'm doing a pretty good job on this tutorial. Yeah. Oh, I made Everyone a should uh, follow all your instructions. 
Yeah. And if you don't, then we'll kill you. Okay, so now you guys can see that uh, my character has a, a stupid haircut. Most people call it a helmet. I, I don't see I don't see it. Okay, so now you see that instead of shanking shanking my fellow prisoners, I just chop them into halves. And he slaps them. He the Shrek's pig gives everyone just a nice, well, damn. a nice high five. Yeah. Uh how long has this episode been going on? Hold on, let me check. Uh, These are my resources. Uh, 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 Eleven minutes. Okay, a minute. An episode's probably gonna be like twenty minutes long or something. Ah, uh, 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 Ferrari crash. Get uh, back, everyone. Ferrari crash. My, my game crashed. Whoopsie doopsie. I'm, I'm very sorry, guys. But uh, you missed the nighttime. You missed this beautiful house that I built in the process of making it, and how to survive the night. Cause I. I, 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 I built a chair. Oh no! And a table. I didn't save my my wooden sword. I okay, guys. Let's go back to building a wooden a wooden sword. So first, you're gonna need to build a workbench. You see? You're gonna have to s scroll down to wooden sword, and uh, hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's not trashy. Then you you always need to build wood greaves, but since I'm a since I'm an old pro, I think I could do without wood greaves. So let's, let's, con <laughs> let's, con yeah, let's continue. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll be alive. Okay. So as you can see, I have iron ore and copper ore. What do we do with that? Ah, my wrist hurts. I'm going on in the mind. I'm gonna stop talking to the audience. I'm just gonna talk to you. And pretend that the audience isn't here. Just in case it was deleted. Just in case it was deleted, guys. All right. Subscribe to Urindanger, Chuck Norris, creepy old man, dank plants, other guy, the real, the unique individuals, I would say. <clears throat> and if you really want, to subscribe to Fwazly X and Shrek's Nuclear Pig. Huh? Except for Shrek's nuclear pig. Huh? Ah ha! Oh, you fighting words. Fighting words. You prank me good. Yeah, I'm turning it off. I'm about turning out my PVP. Anyway, guys, remember when you turn on PVP, you have to kill someone before you can turn it off. I just hacked the game really quickly, so it seemed as if I didn't kill him. It was a really good jump cut. So next you're gonna need to mine some stone since yeah. dirt isn't good enough anymore. I know you're thinking, but why did they give you so much dirt at the beginning of the game? You only need that to survive. I know. I'm just showing you how you could play the game if you didn't have this much dirt. Okay, first you're gonna need some some stone. Stone is important for your everyday life. So you grab some stone. You see, I got 23. And you go over to the workbench. And you you make some torches. You gotta have torches if you want a furnace. Because reasons. And you see, you got a furnace now. Why did you put these chairs? Put these chairs here. Now we can make... I just There's realized, why do I need a copper bar? Here. Copper tools are the worst tools in the whole game. Anyways, let's continue. Look at how fast I can run. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, next up. We're gonna need to make a mine. This gives one of the longest parts of Terraria. Uh, one of the longest parts of Terraria is just... Ow! It's making a mine. Because... Ah, mines are important, I guess. I don't know. As you can see, 
He made a worthless mine and used some worthless rope. But real men dig straight down. It's just how it is. Also, I'm gonna need a lot of rope if I wanna dig straight down. In Terraria, you could be whatever you wanna be. And I'm gonna be an I'm gonna archer. Be a professional yo yoer. If you wanna be one, I, I, I personally don't like that choice. I'm just saying, if you wanna be a professional yo yoer, it's an option. You can be that in Terraria. I'm not joking this time. I am not joking this time. Terraria is where dreams are made. You can, you can be a professional yo yoer in Terraria. Ah, okay, maybe not a professional, but you can be a yo-yoer. There's a there's a yo-yo named after the game called the Terrarian, the, the Terrarian, or the Terranian, Terrarian. Ugh. One time, my cousin, who we will call Gorup, was playing Terraria, and well, uh. Let's just say he's not a professional Terraria player. He's not a let's Terraria player, 100% complete Terraria. Get every single block in the whole game. Every single item with every single tip in front of it. Like, you'd have to get an unhappy pickaxe. You'd have to get like a godly pickaxe, demonic pickaxe. You'd have to get all, all of those of every item in the whole game. He, he's not that kind of Terraria player. Anyways, I looked in his chest the other day, and I realized that he was hoarding baby animals. Like, he had five bunnies in his chest. I don't even know why you'd ever... I don't know why you'd ever need that... Wow. Ever. Ah, stupid copper. He... His, for the first 20 minutes of playing, he didn't have a chest he just had everything in his inventory and kept like throwing really good things away for flowers <laughs> uh, he's one of those people who prefers a touchpad over a mouse he doesn't like to play with mouses because he likes touchpads better I find that interesting but, yeah I don't know. Very it's impossible for me to play Terraria and actually be good with a touchpad. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, guys, look at this—our first mine. Oh, and our first chest. We got a, a boomerang. I forgot to say, if you wanted to be an Australian, they got boomerangs for you. Professional Australian. How much damage does it do? Seven damage? <laughs> That's my wooden Australia. sword right there. Except it's a distance wooden sword. Grenade? 60 damage. That's as much as my professional character's sword doesn't do because it does more. But still, 60 damage is pretty good. Okay, you can see this this thing. What What is it, you ask? It's just a, a demon cooking pot. Demons like to cook and they like their fancy cooking pots. Just, just leave it be. You can use it to craft eyeballs if you wish, or I should say, cook eyeballs, but make them. Whoa! That, There's a that, demon altar that over here. Nasty. Anyways, for some reason, these are supposed to spawn in the corruption biome. You know, the biome with worms. Uh. Giant floaty worms. Uh, purple slimes? Sometimes? I don't know. Yeah, that's basically it. That. That's not what. This isn't supposed to be here. That's the moral, it's the moral of the story, or whatever. So, this is a very good mine. You could see we got a lot of things out of it, such as one boomerang. Wait, what else? What did I leave in that chest that I didn't take? I'm, I'm so used to not taking. 
stuff that would be useful at, only at the beginning of the game. Because I, I always assume that I have stuff better than it. I missed 16 torches, 30 shurikens. Well, that's, that's, I sh shouldn't have missed that. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Anyways, let's keep mining. Hey, uh, gore up. <laughs> I know I know how to get a really good sword early on. Yeah. Apparently there are these temples that you find that are kinda underground. And if you mine down to the way bottom, there's a sword. Oh yeah. An enchanted sword. I wanna go find one. I wanna go find one. Yeah, I think I heard about those. They're so easy. Uh, except that we have a large world. And you know it's a good time to find a sword. Next time on the Gorup. Gorup. The Gorup. The Gorup yes. Gorup channel. Time, we're inviting Chuck Norris. See you. Uh, it's Pinky! It's Pinky! See you next time where we fight Pinky. Boop. Okay, that was a pretty 